Uh, Dr. Sewa Dogo also joins us now. He's a political scientist. Uh, morning and thank you for joining us today. Good morning. Uh, have a listen to the Chief Press Secretary to INEC and what they plan to do for 2015 elections. Are you optimistic? Do you think that there will be any impediments so far? Well, there are a few things here that one has to consider right now. What constitutes electoral practice? Is it the issue of accreditation? or the issue of multiple voting. If I swipe my card and I have accreditation, does that prevent me from voting more than twice, or three, or four, or five, or six times? There are some critical issues maybe we should have a look at instead of beating about the bush on some areas. Well, it's a very good thing to talk of a permanent uh, voter's card. But the issue also I have often asked myself, if I register in Lagos, does it mean I'm consigned to vote in that polling unit for the rest of my life? Should it be like that? Can't I vote anywhere in the country? Because I can relocate. Anything can take me out. People are transferred. So many things happened. I think it should be a system whereby I make sure prevent people from voting more than once. Which is what they have to do with multiple voting. Accreditation does not prevent you from voting more than once. No, he says this is with a view to stamping out multiple voting. The, but that is the question, that is what I'm saying. You are wiping out to get you qualified to vote. People can take several ballot papers to go and vote after the accreditation. That is where the malpractice comes. Can you prevent, you mean, if I do this, it shows, oh, Issa Dogo is qualified to vote in this polling unit. But it doesn't prevent me from carrying 50, 100, 1,000, I mean, several other uh, ballot papers to go and vote. So two things you pointed out. One, <laughs> accreditation. Yes. So swiping your card guarantees you or, uh, to qualify you to vote. to vote. But it doesn't prevent you from voting more than once. So would you be suggesting then, in the circumstance that what, they also... They should find a way where you cannot, after you have the accreditation, you cannot mo vote more than once because the wiping of the card does not add any significant value to the temporary card you have right, okay. because okay. it is not preventing you from voting more than once. Hold it on. is not preventing people from doing all the dirty things that politicians do. Then who do we hold responsible here now? Because it, what comes to mind here is, uh, well, what goes into the computer also comes out of the computer, which is, uh, for instance, if we have to even go with the electronic voting system, once the uh, individual who programs it uh, is uh, being compromised, that means we can also have uh, a leeway whereby people can vote more than once. Precisely what you are saying is correct, but we are saying that one is to a very large extent not so practicable, the electronic voting system. Because you are captured there, and it presupposes once you are captured, if you go to do any other one, you can't do it. Can it help save the situation you just painted by saying, oh, perhaps you've been transferred out of Lagos. The electronic system can as well see the central system and say, okay, Suadogo registered in Lagos, but he's now in Kaduna. He can as well vote. Exactly. That is what I'm saying. That's the system you're looking for. Uh, sorry, do you want to shed more light on that particular question? Which one? The one Suleiman just asked. Yes, what I'm saying is that we should, it should be a system whereby wherever you register does not prevent you from voting any other place. But once you have voted, you cannot vote for a second time because it is already captured there. If you try voting, it will reject it yeah, but if automatically. I, if I understand what uh, Kaide Do says properly, he says that, yes, with your card, uh, if you get the permanent card, if you're about to go vote and you swipe your card once and you go in and vote once, if you have to go vote a second time or go ahead with the multiple voting, you have to swipe your card to go in and do that. You don't need to swipe your card to vote more than once. What I'm saying is that swiping of the card only gives you accreditation, only says no. that you are a registered person in this pooling no, unit. What I think but he's going to do, because what they said was 
those cards will be there at the polling unit where you're about to vote. Yes. So before you vote once, you swipe the card. Yes. So if you swipe the card and you want to go elsewhere and swipe the card and vote, you, it will not clock you in because you've clocked in and voted once. No, the issue of even going elsewhere does not really arise in this case. We are talking in the same polling unit. <laughs> so how do you, do you vote get it? more because than... Because the ballot papers, uh, you know, you carry can carry more than one. You can carry this two. This is a very uh, interesting... Uh, you see, that is the issue. The, 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 the rigging <laughs> is not in accreditation. This it doesn't very, come. Dr. Dogo, this is a very interesting um, angle you're bringing into this because, I mean, <laughs> INEC is introducing this <laughs> with the presumption that multiple voting takes place when one individual moves from one polling unit to another. No, that and, is... And that's accreditation. I mean, if you can, you have to get accredited before you're even allowed to get close to the INEC officials. But what you are insinuating is that even in that same polling Precisely. Station, you know, multiple voting is exactly. most likely to take that place. is what but actually some happens. People, some people will also add that most of the time the malpractice doesn't take place at the polling stations themselves, those are they all take place different after the dimensions votes have been of it, collated. different dimensions of it. But in the actual sense of it, you find out that in the same polling unit, one person will mo vote several times. That happens this in is, the polling unit, yes, exactly. It happens. Do you see it? You, I mean, you collect I ballot... I find that very difficult to believe. They wouldn't believe it, but it is true. Because what? when, the most cases, you discover that somebody has voted, you have ballot b papers that have not... Uh, nothing has happened. They give it to pol politicians, find a way of collecting it from them. Somebody goes somewhere and the different people thumb printing it, and they pass it back to the polling unit. But, but let us, let's also, sorry, Suleiman, let us also put it in context, because in recent times we've seen elections where people vote. I mean, we've seen the, the tedious process, as it were, where people get accredited, and then they come back to vote, and then the voters wait until the votes are counted and the figures are taken. So if that system continues, say, into 2015, how possible will it be that, you know, there will be multiple voting at any particular center? If Especially with the vigilance of the electorate. If it continues, you see, the issue of vigilance of electorate is, a, is, 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 a is in a relative terms. It depends on which political party that holds sway in that very polling unit. And you will discover that if in a particular polling unit, uh, this political party holds sway, they even collaborate. I'm telling you, they even collaborate. The truth is that you can find somebody who is there and say, look, I am CPC agent or I'm PDP agent. The PDP agent actually is a member of the CPC or vice versa. And they know, they understand that concept. And so whatever is going on, they turn the other... They this just is not talking about parts. the party agents. This is talking about the electorates themselves. The electorates themselves, they don't vote and stay there permanently. Many of them leave. Anybody who tells you that in most cases they stay is not correct. Well, because only the die-hearted political folks that stay and wait to listen to the result. But the actual electorate, you, when you vote, do you sit down there and wait till eternity to be counted? Well, I you think don't. I, I think Jagger has been so worried about this uh, because uh, that particular report that came out saying that about 19 states uh, well, are already guilty of this. He, he, he also mentioned about <coughs> delineation. Uh, perhaps maybe you talk about that if it will save this situation whereby uh, you vote more than once because as it is now by law, it says not more than 500 people should vote in a polling booth. Yes. But we've seen other polling booths where we have about 3,500 uh, voters. So if uh, we properly do the delineation in 2013, would that stop that uh, multiple voting in any polling unit? I don't think so, because you also find oh, out in some polling units, you, do that? you may have less than 500. Do you get it? You may have less than 500 people, but you will still have 500 being voted. <laughs> do, do you get what I'm saying? So That's, it, that that it, is leaving room for people to precisely, come. Precisely. Uh, you know, uh, it happens. More than once. See, I have found it impossible to understand why our legislators don't want uh, electronic voting. You see, because it will reduce the incidence of rigging to the barest minimum. Reduce or increase as well. No, no, no. Reduced. Because, no, the, if uh, most of these things will be based on programming. Yes. And if a programmer is compromised 
I mean, as Jerry the programmer says, yeah. cannot be compromised if, if, if it has been internationally set, programmed in such a way that all you are there, you don't even need a programmer even to in, sit in the pooling unit. Even programmer is, <coughs> as long as you're a programmer. Well, you are talking about maybe they hack into the system. That is a different ball game you altogether. Don't even have to but you it. can have a system that is national, and therefore somebody cannot manipulate it. It is possible. We are, we are oh, in the uh, jet age. Yes. Rug, who is sitting down there, you can't manipulate it. And if you attempt doing it, it can raise an alarm yeah, anywhere. Boy.